Last time on Dragon Ball Z, uh, apparently you're exempt from being a furry if you like Lola Bunny and Space Jam. Yes! I do not disagree, however, <laughs> and I will die on this. I'll level. let you finish the <laughs> argument, don't worry. Um, I think the biggest contributors in general to, like, I don't think it converted anybody that wasn't already latently a furry, but, like, Balto, um, the, like, older Disney's, like, uh, fucking Robin Hood What? Oh! I just styled on that fucking gator. Um. And Lola Bunny very much contributed <laughs> to, uh, that latent, immediate, like, first couple of thoughts for a lot of furries going, oh, my brain seems very weirdly excited about this, and I'm not sure what, uh, what to do about that. You can like Lola Bunny, and you could have found her very attractive, and not have turned into a furry. But I am saying... I think it made the sparks fly for a lot of people early on that did become furries. The yeah. end. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. I hope you liked listening to it as much as I like cramming it down your throat the second or third time. <laughs> You're welcome. The only TED Talk I've watched more than once was James Beach. Uh, dude, the only TED Talk I've watched multiple times was, uh, the Sam Hyde one. <laughs> <laughs> what? You no way! Oh, dude, it's the most- it's fucking legendary. The- the James Beach one is just- his TED Talk was, How can I fuck with people? <laughs> yeah, that's what the Sam Hyde one was. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> the James Beach one was also like, I am lazy. Why? <laughs> was he the one that was like, here's how to stop procrastinating? Yes. Oh, it's him? Okay. I've seen the thumbnail. Uh, so the other one, he was on Jimmy Kimmel one time. Okay. I know, talk show. Yeah, Keep going. Uh, and like, he was... Okay, that doesn't work. And, well, you can ask the bubble what to do. We need to lower that bridge so we can get across. There's the uh -huh. bubble. <laughs> so... He was like, yeah, I, I kept putting just ducks in my, like, flat, and my flatmate was not okay with it. <laughs> and, like, he's like, I just kept adding ducks. And I just kept adding yellow rubber ducks. And then he took a picture of, like, the entire, like, bathroom was just filled with rubber ducks. Like, literally sealing the floor of just rubber ducks. Okay. <laughs> that dude on the, the spot to the left, right? Yeah, I think so. Yep. Oh, that's right, I grappled a bit. Okay, so I just gotta run back up. Alright. So, for much of this gameplay, I think as soon as episode 2 pretty much started, that this whole gameplay has been me other than you messing around once we first yep. got to here. Um, the reason I do that, this is just me explaining to the audience since you already know, but the reason I do that is just to see, alright, here's how the beginning of the game goes, how does this work with a fresh set of eyes, is it intuitive enough, are there some wee little hiccup moments? I think you caught onto this one way faster than you caught onto Tack 1. That doesn't sound like luck. Hey, not again! You guys are killing my festive feeling! You just appeared without a tiki. You'll need this Juju's help to get out of the swamp, Tack. Okay, everybody, back away from the Tiki. You, yeah, you, move along, little wooden guy. You're gonna get thwarked. No, no, no! And don't let the number munchkin take my Tiki! Go after him and get it, baby! Go, go, go! Do you want an English lesson in the term nominalization? <laughs> If I say no, are you gonna give it to me anyways? Probably just gonna give it to you. <laughs> <laughs> Very perceptive. <of> you. <laughs> um, forked is not a real uh, verb. It is uh, the name of the weapon that he has. Nominalization is when a noun turns into a verb, or a verb turns into a noun, because English lets you be creative like that. Not that other languages don't let you, but English. Is 
very, very uh, well spontaneously done. creative. Your increasing shaman abilities have given you longer life, Tack. You up? Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> That reminds me, I went over to my sister's house one time, and I I think I brought over some, like, cookies for myself or something. So she, I usually don't like eating their food when I'm there, so I bring, like, something for myself. Okay, yeah. And so we're sitting outside, and I've got the cookies on, like, a table near where I'm sitting, because I'm sitting different to where, like, my sister and my nieces are, right? My brain just freaked out. I thought you said where I'm sitting. And I'm like, what kind of... Explain this. We bust the what move while we're sitting. sitting. <laughs> so, uh, I'm sitting down, and my sister starts laying the fattest beat down for me. I wish. No, she's like hand halfway into the package of cookies, and she goes, Hey, is it okay if I eat one of these cookies? And she's like, got the cookie in her mouth by the point she says before she gets the question out. I go, What would you do if I were to say no right now? <laughs> and she'd be like, fuck, you the cookie. <laughs> and I'm like, that's fair enough. Great. More boom dust hey, smell my magic meter. Oh, you know what I just grabbed? Um, yeah, that little sheep, that little back sheep over there, uh, pretty easy to miss. I think when I was a kid, I kind of got stuck on that part for a moment to like, Finally figured out that there were four of them life. instead of three. Yeah, they kind of they kind of trick you there. But um, all right. Oh, saw some screen tearing there. All right. So this is uh, how mistakes are made. Here I am. Um, yeah. So let's clear out. You can path. ask your parents about that later too if you want. <laughs> Viewers at home, you want to find were out? Were you a mistake? Ask your mom or dad right now. Alright guys, make sure to leave it in the comments. Were you a mistake? <laughs> and if you're definitely in a foster home, you are a mistake, no doubt. It's okay though. Nobody loves you anyways. Do you know anyone that was a foster kid? I hired two anybody. foster kids. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. Are they... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I died face down in the muck. <laughs> uh, I knew two foster kids. Um, I hired them. Oh, oh wait, no. I have lot of, two kids that were foster kids at my school. A lot of issues. A lot of, lot of personal yeah. stuff. Issues. Uh, uh, do I feel bad for them? Yes. Uh, do they need to get over, over themselves? A little bit. But okay, there's yeah. obviously some problems and abandonment issues that yeah. they have not worked through because... Fuck, man. They have not allowed themselves to move on from that situation. Huh. I've always wondered that. Like, it, it, in a lot of cases, there are these, like, oh, I don't know my parents. It's like... And this is coming from, like, completely the outside, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, I would have led it with, yes, I am one if I was. But, like... I've never quite understood the drive to find out. Like, if it just wasn't a part of you, it wasn't a part of you. You know? I find it interesting that it is still something that, like, very much so matters. Them? I mean, you know your mom and dad, right? Like, that's that's the thing. Like, yeah, but see, you know. know your mom and dad already. They literally gave birth to you. So, it, as human beings, we have a cognizant brain, and so we always think, like, we're, we're always thinking, right? So we always think of, like, oh, I wonder who gave, who was my mom and dad? Because that's how the human brain works. It works when you're younger in a Doesn't monogamous like sort of way. You can't solve, too, I yeah. Suppose, so I, yeah, alright. I mean, A, they're your biological parents, which you should probably know because of health reasons. At least know your lineage a little bit. I suppose, yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. Oh, We're gonna... <laughs> Man, fuck off. Why do, they keep, why do they keep coming back? I I don't get why. You, you have a timed barrel. They shouldn't keep coming back. That's a very odd way to solve um, that puzzle. So... Yeah. I understand the wanting to find your parents because it's a very, like, human drive to have, you know? Ah, yeah. oh, fuck. Come, come on, man. I do like the uh, the old sound effect there. It's a very pleasant one. 
That's a player outside, caught me off guard. Oh, jeez. That's... <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even realize there was one. I right love that. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Just them. So yeah, I think foster kids have a lot of issues they work, they have to work through as adults that most of us don't. Foster kids and like single parent kids probably relate a lot. Oh uh, well, yeah, yeah. Both having like abandonment issues is just taken to an extreme when you also live in like a situation where. Your foster parents might not necessarily even care about you. That's the one I always found really weird that, like, foster care apparently is, like, extremely inconsistent and pretty bad for the kids. It's like, who takes on these kids but somehow it's, like, a total sack of shit? It's, um, the people who, like, <laughs> I'm gonna sound a real Republican with this real yeah, quick. The, oh, what would you dang welfare take advantage of us who just yep. have a bazillion kids to get the. the it's exactly the what they do, right? It's the people that usually work on food stamps and want okay. extra spending cash, right? Huh. So because you get paid as like a foster parent yeah. by like the government, that I'm makes pretty sense. sure. It's like moving to Alaska. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, please man, we need somebody to do this. Yep, that's exactly the point, right? So like, you, you get paid for like oh. being a foster parent a lot. Well, certain states are different, right? Um, and then, of course, there's the foster parents who, A, are looking for children, too. Right? Sure, so, like, yeah. There's a section of, like, there's actually good ones that are just looking to have a child. Sure. And then, and those are parents. Like, just actual human being parents. And the difference between the parents and the foster parents is that the foster parents get paid to do that work. Um... So, yeah. All right. It's the older kids who usually suffer through those issues because nobody really wants to. It's rude to say, but nobody yeah. really wants to adopt a thirteen-year-old, like a ten to thirteen-year-old kid. You yeah, know? you can you can see that in like in like pets as well. You know? Yeah, like people usually don't want to adopt a dog that's already old. You know. It makes sense. It's also harder to bond with, like, with something that's already older. It's the way it works. Mm. I guess I've never really felt the same about dogs, but yeah. I, I get human beings. Like, it's it's yeah. a lot harder for like a parent to like feel something for the kid too, if like they're not already wanting to feel. I guess yeah. it also depends on like how the parent is seeing it in the first place, like. If they are looking for a kid that's already that age to help out, that's fair. They'll probably love that kid, but... Yeah, I grew up with a single parent for eight years. So, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm just kind of taking what I learned from my other two, like, foster, like, foster kids I hired, and then the, just the foster people I've met in life, too. Surprisingly, it's a lot of them. I didn't realize how many, like, I knew that, like, were foster kids. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was quite surprised, and I was like, oof, I'm so sorry for you guys. I could, like, blur it out, the, the name, or whatever, like, you know, edit it out. Um, did I know any- were there any at the other place when I worked with you? Um... I don't think any of them ever mentioned it, they were directly to me. Um, they were touchy about it for a while. I think... There might have been one when I started there, but you wouldn't have known him. Oh, yeah. Like, he worked there- Oh, God! Alright. He worked there for, like, two weeks and stole, like, $50. Oh, he was the one- okay. Somebody told me about someone that stole some money. Then again, you know, I won't be surprised if there were more than one that ended up taking some, but... Cause, yeah, he, uh, the GM at the time put out a message, Yo! We're down like sixty dollars, and you put in a group chat with me and like two other people, mm. and like that one guy, and then that one guy stopped showing up to work. <laughs> oh shit! Gotcha. <laughs> and I was like, oh, he probably did. What? And of... gee, I really wish they'd actually like uh, send one my way first here. All right, we're gonna be quiet right now. 
To listen to the rock and guitar. Honestly, though, like, I I know you. Um, I know when I asked you about like your uh, your thoughts on the soundtrack for the first game, you, I got a pretty like, yeah, okay, it's it's all right, mm -hmm. um, which really bummed me out. But like, how's how's two to it? Two has a lot of different like instruments that I'm very much a pre. Oh, fuck. <laughs> It's got more instruments than just like a. Yeah, that's true. There's certainly a bit more. Uh, there's xylophone. There's um, there's more guitar. A lot of the music is a lot more like steady and action oriented, whereas the other ones were a little slower. Um, it felt, in a way, too tribal. Okay. If that makes sense, like. Yeah, yeah. It didn't feel gamey enough. It felt too tribal, which I don't think matched the tone of a lot of. Like how they wanted you to feel during the game. It's like this looks like a tribal game. We'll just make tribal music. Okay, yeah. Which doesn't so really work. Exactly. Like you look at Zelda and it's like, oh, it should just be all like wind instruments, right? <laughs> For a lot of like Zelda stuff. I guess. Like Wind Waker, it's like, oh, it's a lot of wind instruments for like. Yeah. And they do use a lot of wind instruments, mind oh, you. Like. Shit. But they also. Decide to like mix in instruments sometimes, which is very nice. Um, but you can have response time on hitting X to pick up and then also let down is like way faster than I would have thought it was. <laughs> so I like keep picking it up and dropping it down, just kind of double hitting, assuming the game will like kind of not do the greatest job. Ah, oh, fuck! I I thought I had this pattern just like drilled into my brain. <laughs> It's doing what it did to me the first time I played through it. Like, I had to keep running through this part, and this part was like, Oh, what the heck, this is impossible. But, it's just gotta... It's, it's this one, and then it's the left. But, yeah, Zelda music, though? Zelda music's fucking... The Zelda music's good, Love and it, Zelda. it, um, Zelda music, um, it Why, kinda also... What am I doing wrong? Um, and another series is also, like... Just gotta stop in the middle, right? Okay, those middle two don't matter. Oh, but you can't go too fast. Okay. Alright, I got it. So yeah, to music with a different well. kind of flair. You can have an overall theme with an instrument. Tack yeah. did a very good job with the drums in the original, if, yeah. if I'm thinking right. Drum, yeah. bongos, whatever. With its percussion instrument. Okay. Um, but, like... They didn't have too much layering, if I remember correctly. And I think that really sucked, and it was just kind of like one yeah, instrument. They kind of just had two instruments really carrying a yep. lot of the, uh, yeah, there really wasn't like a third one. But this has a bass going on, it's got some drums going on, mm -hmm. there's a little xylophone part where it comes in. There's even like a little breakdown. I, do you want to give this in a, oh, hello. <laughs> Can I actually come back up? Alright. Oh, come on, man! Just let me die! <laughs> Here, you give this an attempt. Okay, where do I need to go? Go up. Forward. <laughs> Alright. It's L for there the... Are, there are still a couple of moments in this game where, uh... Where... Clearly, the, uh, the detection on the hitboxes and the jumping is still a little bit goofy. You can still kind of get away with stuff. Um, I'm gonna mark that down as an example. Because it is important to highlight. While it is tighter in the control and uh, a little less unstable with how the glitches manifest, there are it, it, it is still very much uh, the same kind of Rita game as Tac 1 in terms of how you can go about trying to bust it, and how loose it really is around all the edges. Keep just hitting the wrong button. Nah. Try to Which, X. um, have you played pretty much all of the mainline Zeldas? Yeah, I've played a lot of them. Played a lot of them, too. Uh, nice. <laughs> that was all my right. first attempt, by the way. Sick. <laughs> well, that's good. Um, get a little bit closer. I'd hate for that to not work. 
Alright. <laughs> Ooh. Go for it. Believe in you. Believe it. Believe it! Alright, now this one, you need to figure out a pattern. Um, I'd set the barrel down. Or don't. The dive rooms. Forward. One. Down flat. Left. I think it's left, left, right, right. One, one, two. One, one, two. One, one, two, one. One, 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 one. Two? Yeah. I don't understand what your notation is. More about it. Yeah, I suppose <laughs> I don't. <laughs> oh, okay, hey, Tax Feather is back to the yellow. Yeah, um, in the loading scene, it's purple. Yeah, it was good. Uh, we, we entered the mix. We mixed the spell to make his feather color different. Um, but that was, I saved it right before the mind reader juju. Um, the see, fuck? the problem with this part, like, I like, I like the puzzle, I like the interaction that it actually has. Like, the idea is good. Their execution kind of sucks in that all of the stones are, like, a little too close to each other, so, like, unavoidably fat finger them. There's a very small margin for, uh, for air. What the fuck? <laughs> Alright. Back at it again. But yeah, no, uh... Is that all you had for the mainline Zelda questions? <laughs> oh, no, we... I'm kind of focusing. Um, so... I played pretty much Fucking all of them. God. Um, I didn't play Spirit Tracks, but I did play Phantom Hourglass. I uh, love the multiplayer, by the way. Download play multiplayer in that is very similar but a bit more robust and better than uh, what the Animal Crossing game is in Nintendo Land, essentially. Where you have safe zones, one player is operating three like guardians that they can control with like a route that they'll run that you do with a touchpad. Um, you're stealing little gems. The bigger ones slow you down, but are worth more to get back to your base. Um, I played... The first one I had was uh, Oracle of Seasons. And I just got it from like a kid on the bus. He's kind of gay. We never got it back. I think I was talking about that on Chicken uh, Chicken Temple. But yeah. um, that's one I started with. Didn't get very far in it. I think I got into two different series, and both of them became like one of my all-time like all-time favorites uh, because of Melee or because of Smash Bros. More broadly. What the fuck? I I did the Triforce Gathering, uh, fucking little trophy event, or whatever the heck, uh, event battle in Smash Bros. Melee, and then I, like, just one day decided to read all the Zelda trophies, and I was like, oh, this story actually seems pretty cool. I should play those games. Um, then I went to a buddy's house, and this was right around the time, like, Wind Waker was coming out, or maybe Wind Waker was out for, like, a year or two at that point. Um, and it looked so cool, like it blew my mind. I was like, oh heck yeah. Like I even helped him solve the puzzle. Like I just showed up that day and he was just playing in like the first dungeon. He was just like, yo man, I don't know what to do. Um, it's the one where you gotta light something on fire, but light the room or something. But... Oh, yeah. Wind Waker. About. Yeah, and so that day, I didn't get to go home with Wind Waker, but uh, his older brother just like let me borrow his, like, uh, it's not called the Master Collection, but like, when when the fucking Ocarina of Time Master Quest came out, mm -hmm. or if you pre-ordered Wind Waker or something, you got that disc that just had like, a Wind Waker demo on it, some sort of video. Fuck! You keep going off to the right, that one does the double, you gotta go No, it's forward. not, it's the right one. Really? Left, left, right, left, le left, right. Weird. Yeah, they fat finger you on that. Really <laughs> I'm like, I know it. I'm right. Yeah. Okay, um... That's what the yeah, one is he, for the left. He lend it, he loaned me the Zelda game that had Ocarina of Time, uh, a ROM of Ocarina, a Majora, 
um, all of Zelda 1, all of Zelda 2, and the Wind Waker demo. And I still own it to this day, and he has never bothered to ask it back. And that game is fucking hard to find and quite expensive. So Wait, I, I do feel you very. Own it? But yeah, yeah, I own that shit. It's great. We should look at it sometime. We should. Yeah, we can definitely do that. Um, fucking, I need to wait just an extra second. I think. Yeah, the, the, okay. I think the problem is both you and I feel rushed doing this. No, I I think what I'm doing is I'm I just need to like wait to move to the right. Mm. I'm moving to the right too early, so I'm getting hit by the other pressure plate, is what I was saying. Uh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, um, I, I don't hold Ocarina to this gold standard that a lot of people do, and that's a much safer opinion these days <laughs> than it used to be, yeah. which is good, because, like, yeah, look, man. <laughs> um, but the soundtrack to that is absolutely amazing. Um, I do love the soundtrack. All the Zelda games. When I, whenever I'm doing, like, a, like, Pathfinder D&D, uh, like, creation stuff in my spare time, I'll usually throw on, like, Zelda music, or a lot of good old, like, SNES soundtracks, it's just, like, good inspiration music. Um, Secret of Mana and Castlevania, Castlevania 4 particularly, but all the Castlevania songs, I fucking love them so much. Um, I'm trying to think, so I, I asked you about if you've played a lot of the Zelda games, because I want to ask you what you think your favorite Zelda soundtrack might be. That's that's the uh, the real question that I'm getting to here, like uh, 12 minutes later. Fucking finally. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there we go. Okay. Um, the viewers are now unfrustrated for me finally getting to the point, and for you finally getting past that point. I I do Opa. think Ocarina <laughs> is good. I think it does have a great soundtrack. Um, I've played Zelda 1 uh, on the NES. Have you beaten it? I've beaten it. Uh, I think that, I got to I Dungeon 6 or something. I didn't but... finish, like, 100%. Gotcha. I'm going to leave the fighting, yeah, part, fighting part to you. Yep. Um, I didn't beat it, but, like, I got pretty far. The, I was 10 without a guy. I got pretty fucking far. Dang, that's, yeah. Yeah, um... And so, I played it on the Wii Virtual Console because, like, you ain't gonna find that shit on NES. No, oh, yeah. Also, oh. uh, real quick note, this area recaptures a lot of that, like, Chicken Temple energy yes, for me. Yes, it does. And I, I very much like that. Um, and I, I played through Zelda 1, and I I got halfway through before I, like, stopped, and then I came back to it. Oh my god, why? Oh my god, Why? Why? <laughs> Okay. You are sitting with Yes, stupid. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> um, I played through half of it and then I bought Ocarina. And I, I wasn't like too sure if I'd like the Zelda series by this point. I know I had played through the entire first game and went, This is pretty good. But I don't know if I like it. And I played Ocarina. And I think that was kind of the turning point of like, I don't think I'm gonna like this series. Did you ever play two? No, but I've, I've gone back and I've played too. So, this is like, in, like, theory. And I'm like, I, I played through to up to the, um, where you get Adult Link and Ocarina. And then I went, I don't think I really want to play this anymore. And so I kind of dropped it. That was, uh, about 12 at the time, because it's right before I got my 3DS. And this is what matters. Um. Oh, I can't use the bulb but here. I was trying to first person look to see if there's something over here. And so, I bought Majora's Mask, thinking maybe I'll think differently, it's... I hated yeah. Majora's Mask. So you, you didn't really like Ocarina of Time when didn't, you were playing it? Didn't really, really like it, because, oh. like, I don't know, I just guess I didn't like it. <laughs> maybe I wasn't... <laughs> I didn't like a lot of the waiting that I had to do. Um, I feel like I did fine with a lot of the puzzle solving in Ocarina. Did you just die? Um, no, I like... Just kind of pac man down to the... The next like oh. level here, yeah. Yeah, um, I didn't like Ocarina oh! simply because I don't think I liked the Zelda series at the time. Okay. Because then I had the same issue with Majora's Mask. It felt really bland and boring, and I just it didn't. It felt bland, huh? Yeah, I, I just weird. didn't. I just didn't like it. I was like, this is super linear. I don't like it. You know, I got to the part where I'm like Goron and I'm running around Snow Mountain. Yeah. Like, I just don't like it. You know? I had the worst, so like, I have a lot of these weird just like issues where like the tack games would shit out on me or something. Um, and that's the game doing it. Uh, 
when I played Majora, and I think it has something to do with that Master Collection that I had, um, it would eat my fucking memory card. Yeah, I never had that issue. I yeah, played a lot, a lot of mine on the Snowhead. I'd maybe get to the temple, and then it would just just destroy my save file. It was a weird See, Mad Cats here. one, though. Oh, yeah, that is weird. <laughs> you can do tippy toes. Um, yeah, so I had to... When I beat Majora, I had to go through it, like... Dozens. Three times mm -hmm. to finally really get through it. Thankfully, as soon as I got to the Great Bay part, the game, like, chilled. It did fine, but... I lost a lot of my old pack saves when I, mm -hmm. when I had that. Like, that Mad Cat's memory card... You can really roll now! Nice. And like attack. Roll? Yeah. Oh, I'm in a canoe now. Yeah, this um, one's one of the cool So yeah, I, I played halfway through Majora. I got to at least snow, uh, the Snow Point, right? Yep. Snow Point Temple. And I, and I thought that was pretty good. And I, I, I'd shit out on the series. <laughs> and that, that was like during when the Wii was still big. And then the Wii U got big, and I'm like, okay, whatever, whatever. And I, I, I bought a Wii U and I played a lot of, uh... <clears throat> and for the Wii U can transfer, like, your kind of, like, your console saves from the Wii oh, to the Wii really? U. Yeah. I didn't know they did And so I, I downloaded a Majora's Mask and Ocarina of Time again. I never touched them. I was like, I'll get to these eventually. And I didn't. And then I heard a lot of good things about Wind Waker HD. Uh, I'm gonna say Chuck of Conroy really, like, Revitalized me to try the Zelda series again. Uh, I went yeah, back I and really I watched really like him. He was he was like the first Let's Player I ever ended up finding. Mm -hmm. I found him back in I don't know 2010 maybe. And yeah, so I, I played. I was like, all right, maybe I give. I'm a few years older. I'm 15 by this point. I'll give the Zelda series another try. Um, and this is uh like two years before Breath of the Wild, which marks a big point with the. Mm -hmm. With Zelda what, uh, series, so what was the first Zelda game that you actually got to like get hyped for and like, like you played some of the ones that were already out and were were older? Whatever, Breath of the Wild then. was the first one I was like super like, all right, I want to play this game because Breath of the Wild was the one. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, I'll get to it. Um, yeah. And so I played through Wind Waker and I absolutely loved it. I 100% it. It's Probably Damn, still really? my. You did all the pick the box shit. Did all the pick the box oh, shit. 100% it. <laughs> my first playthrough. As much as you can on the first playthrough. Yeah. Um, and I, I loved it, and I went back through, and I 100% of the Master Quest too, or what, nice. the Hero Mode. Sorry, not oh, Master yeah. Quest. The Hero Mode. That Dude, was on I the tried Wii. to do that in the original, and there's no like, here's your Hero Mode. You just have to commit to <laughs> not getting heart containers. Mm -hmm. I got shafted out of like committing to it because somehow there's a point where like you get forced into fighting one of the like gust tornado frogs. Yeah. They give you a heart. They piece. give you one. It made me go up to four. I, I was like so pissed about it. It's like, well, there goes all the legitimacy yep. of me trying so that, to do that wrong. That, that was sucks. really fun to do on Wind Waker. And then by the time Wind Waker was out, the Twilight Princess remake was out. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, because yeah. Twilight Princess got to be on three separate consoles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Twilight Princess was like the current one when I like first started getting into the series, so when I got a Wii, I, I definitely picked that up. So it was <laughs> we saw a lot there. Um Oh yeah! It's you, little dude! Ooh, you got my tiki back from those dirty little mad heads! The Woodies won't bother you anymore. Now, help us get out of the swamp. Us? You mean you and me? He means me, the great shaman Jaboba. Great shaman? You look like a blood-sucking freak! Yes, well, I am a bit. I can take you out of the swamp, no problem! What? That's me too. I gotta get out of here. They've been all over the lock. Oh, I Ow, 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 In his ass. I'll lead you out of the swamp myself. Oh. You guys look like you really know how to party! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this, this cutscene's phenomenal. There's GB's house. We're almost Holy there shit. at last. It's beautiful. Very clearly a Wizard of Oz reference. Like mm -hmm. I knew it would be. He must really be a wonderful shaman to live in a crib like that. Ah, he's nothing special. Let's go. Sleep. Sleep. Sleep? Who's sleepy? Not me. I like how the health feather is representative of mm. Ooh. 
These flowers smell pretty. The flowers. We've got to fight it. Wake up. Uh, it's... So, yeah, I... Sleep. Oh. Sleep. Playlock. I was going to say, if it isn't very clear, it's it's very clearly Playlock. <laughs> oh, cool, oh. you can... What the? That's not a real function of any buttons. Yeah, yeah. You sure? She awaits you in the top oh. of the tower. Unfortunately, the evil dream right, guardian I'll, has I'll heard your stuff coming. on the other. Yeah, so um, I play through. To stop you. I hope that the mighty warrior of the Pupu Nunu people is ready. Don't talk through this because yeah, don't worry. It's close to like stuff. Yeah, uh, we're very close to the to the, the dream tower. Defenses. What's a woody catapult doing in the dream world? The dream world is a mixture of many things. You must have yeah, 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 whatever. It's a fucking ploy to be you. like, yo, dream world's supposed dream to slow you from the main quest of actually doing this thing in the real world. Really? So. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, did I spoil the story? I don't know. I, not really. Sort of. Not really. I, <laughs> don't worry about it. Um, oof. Man, I really this. don't like the song that they do for this. And these parts go on really long, and the song really turns into a slog, unfortunately. It, it only exacerbates the, uh, not very Gives fun tech one feel of what the... Uh, it does actually sound very tack one compared to... It's very tack one feeling. Oh, yeah. So yeah, I... That Twilight Princess came out for that remake. Yep. And that's... I never played any of the remakes. I did. I, I played, played mostly the, the remakes. I, I, I was a, both I was about to actually go and buy the Skyward Sword remake. Yeah, okay, so when I asked you about the hype train thing, my first hype train one was Skyward Sword. Was so it? I'm kind of a bit of a Skyward Sword apologist. <laughs> just do I think the, it's a fine game. The hype. Yeah, um, it's not what people kind of wanted out of Zelda, I guess, but I, I think it had a lot of strengths that the other ones like didn't in terms of like mm -hmm. story presentation that somehow actually made you care. The, the Zelda like relation between Link and Zelda actually felt like there was something there and like it kind of made you care when she got locked away in that weird little prison thing whatever halfway through the game. Um, I had the craziest experience with that uh, that time temple um, out in the sand. So when I was playing it, I got to the boss completely bright sunny day. Summer sunny day. The second I get to the boss it just starts raining. Like a pretty heavy, just quick passing storm. Um, you get to the boss, it's sunny in game. It starts raining for the boss fight. Mm -hmm. You beat the boss, it stops raining. Real life followed that. It was it was pretty nut. <laughs> um, the Kalactus, or whatever his name is, boss, probably my favorite boss of all time in the Zelda series. That temple was insane. The, the ancient right. cistern. <laughs> um, I mean, I like the keys. <gasps> I like that you could twist the keys around and they were interactive. It's got some good strengths. I'm glad they got a they got a remaster. It seems like they didn't do too much with it, sadly. It was pretty bare bones, but it's nice that they did some stuff. Like it's just that. a small, you know. but worst looking game. It's honestly yeah. a worst looking game for the system it's on. Uh, that's unfortunate. It looks worse. How? It, it's on the Switch. It should look a little better than if it was on the Wii. Right. It's just a Wii and <laughs> like a Wii ROM, basically. Uh, what I heard. I heard that they uh, for the Virtual Console for Ocarina and whatever they just straight up ripped ROMs that other like unofficial sources just made. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty. That's it's funny. Pretty scummy. <laughs> it's pretty funny. It, it is. It's their game. You know? I mean, yeah, it's like, hey, whatever. it's ours. Thanks, idiot. But like, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, I played through the Twilight Princess. HD and I, I beat it. Like I fighting Ganondorf was pretty chill. Yeah. And I was like, that's cool to give him a sword. That looks different. Yeah. Cool. I love. So what I do with a lot of the Zelda games is I, I have just a, let yourself get hit. I had to like charge it up to. It was like, all right, I'm gonna die too, but maybe I'll hit him while I'm at it. Um, <laughs> was the uh, the thought process there? So I'd always keep a save right before the final boss, just so I could run through the final boss again. I, I love doing the boss fights in those games. Um, I even had a save right before the dragon boss from the Sky Temple yep. in, uh, in Twilight Princess. I really liked that guy. The presentation was just another, just a very big step up in the Zelda series at that time, I felt. Um, yep. Yeah. 
And I, so I never owned Breath of the Wild. I did play a good 20 hours of it. I um, basically just like, I was at a friend's place. They lived in a different state and I was staying with them for like a week at that time. So like, they had to go to work while I was also there. Meow girl? On a, what? <laughs> Meow girl? Okay. Uh, oh, <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> You wouldn't know him. Hey, Eustace. I done just found a new way to cut my pumpernickel. Editor! Cut that out. Cut they're that in, out. They're in cut wit, that they're, out. Uh, they're in Wit Pro. I can't say anything about them. <laughs> they're in Witness Protection Program. <laughs> they haven't paid their bills in four years, and they're very high off methamphetamines and cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> Don't talk about my mom that way. Oh, <laughs> dude, I'm so sorry. Here. <laughs> Be quiet real quick, I'll insert the beep line. Jacob's mom. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, one of the- I, I really hope somebody at some point makes one of those like, Oh, this is meant to be the swear word blocker, but it's just straight up just- Fuck! <laughs> fuck! <laughs> yeah. Like, okay, the Remy Sid speak. Word, when you hear swear word blocks, I always assume it's the F word. And it makes a lot of swear word blocks really, really awkward. You know, like the fuck. I or... always assume it's fuck. Whenever, oh. swear, whenever like a beep happens, I always just assume it's fuck. That's weird. Like uh, even when it's also weird. Clearly, in context, like... wouldn't be. Uh, that's just I guess I. Yeah, I'm. I'm the biggest context clue guy. I guess. Uh, that's just what I always pay attention to. Um, I mean, I get that it's not, but somehow... Your brain just puts it yeah, together. Yeah, there, there's it puts the, it, oh, Why did you just... <laughs> you just drove off that. I want to die. Okay, me let's too, buddy. But that's, that's not... Um, but yeah, no. I think it's more than just fucked mostly. Um, no, what I was saying about Twilight Princess, though, is I really like the, the wolf amiibo dungeon. Because it oh, just can't... Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a whole dungeon. dungeon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was great. It was okay. very fun. So... Isn't it basically just a glorified, like, uh, not Arbiter's Ground, what is it, the Cave of Heroes? Yeah, but it's good. Okay. It's like Cave of Shadows, I'm pretty sure it's called. Perspective on this is pretty cool here. I, I do like this. Um, as much as a lot of the dream sections are my least favorite, I do gotta say they at least do a good job with, like, the grandiosity of it. Um, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Yeah. I like the dream world. Uh, I, I like I the dream like world. The parts where the I dream, like the dream world, world. <laughs> uh, starts being the catapult dream world. That's when it really turns into just kind of a little bit of a more of a nuisance than it ought to be for me. Um, it's your slog. Yeah, it's it's the like. Oh boy, I want to play attack two again. This is your uh, attack one. Uh, yeah, it's like yeah, this, is, <laughs> this is the water dungeon. No, I'm just like uh, I don't want to do this. I never had a problem with the water dungeon, Ocarina. Speaking of which, I did go back and I played a lot yeah, of yeah. Zelda games. Before Breath of the Wild came out. I had literally probably a year before Breath of the Wild came out. And so I was like, I need to run through the Zelda games I currently own. So I ran through Zelda 1 again. Ran through Ocarina of Time. Ran through Majora's Mask. Um, didn't go through Wind Waker again because like I, that was still fresh. Didn't go back through Twilight Princess because that was also you know, Wind Waker fresh. is actually like the only game I've ever sped run. Really? Yeah. Yep. Me and a, a high school buddy, we were no longer buddies, not because it was like a falling out, it's just you kind of just grow distant with some yeah. people. Um, we were, when we first kind of met, we were like, oh, dude, Wind Waker's like my favorite fucking game. And it, it was true at the time, It, it's still probably the Zelda, it, it is the Zelda game I hold closest to my heart. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, one day we just decided, yo, you know what we're going to do? We're going to start super early in the morning, we're going to beat that game in one day. And we did, we kind of cheated though on the like, uh, the Triforce like chart part I just mm -hmm. had a save file that was done there basically but like you know it was about like a 10 or a, either like 8 ish to like 12 hours I can't really remember how long it took us um but yeah we kind of took a, a good amount of turns it was a fun time yeah can't say I'm that big on I like the idea of speed runs but like I'm a purist about them I usually don't like a lot of like you like, skips glitch, you like glitchless yeah I like glitchless it feels more legit like I feel like there needs to be a better word for it, I guess. Like, it just makes me mad that... There are that no skips. Speedrun is... Like, people just go, oh, speedruns, but then they just start talking about, like, which stuff... I... I, <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> Brain. <laughs> um, um, yeah. Yeah, no, I get that. Like, uh, a lot of the P5 speedruns, but pre-royal. Pre-royal, mind you. Um, they 
don't really have any palace skips. You can't skip any palaces, mind you. Oh, dang. Okay. Because of how the game is set up. So you have to play through every single palace and mostly every single day. Okay. Um, oh, the shit. only thing I you can glitch. Way back there. Hopefully, that's... Hopefully, it's not gonna bite me in the ass. And so, like, you just have to, like, play the game normally. <laughs> There. Just switched your camera. Yeah, I made it look like I like died or something. Yeah, so the only game I ever speed ran was Super Mario. Bros. Yeah, I remember one of the first times we ever hung out, like I don't know where you're just like, oh cool, Super Mario Bros. You check it out, I can speed run this shit, and like you ran through level one like a fucking beast, and it was it was quite impressive. <laughs> Holy shit. Who is this kid? <laughs> uh, well, and you're like, oh, this is this is the Mario uh, Mario like two or whatever retrospective collection one. It, the the physics on this one are way worse. Let me go yeah, the it was the, it was a uh, you had just gotten the Switch online, oh, and it was a okay. uh, it was Switch online. You were play, we were playing the NES. Uh, we were playing All Stars. The All Stars. Okay, yeah. And All Stars Mario has different like proportions to the world. Yeah. Like the original, so I'm like, oh, I'm not used to this. Because uh, I sat there one day and I was like, I'm going to go speed through Mario 1 real quick. And I was doing it on the actual NES. And when I was doing that, I'm like, I'm getting really fucked up here. <laughs> <laughs> it was especially in level 2 because, like, how the vines are on it. It's getting fucked up by the platforms. Wow. And so I was like, yeah. Vines? The vines? No. Like, I okay. say the vines, sure, but sure. I'm, I'm talking about four, it's some 4 2. It's, those have vines in them. Um. Uh, no. <clears throat> Sad. That very much made it seem like I could do that. Mm. How much longer do you have on this cart, Mark? I don't know. I I wish it was done already. Um, we're just gonna go ahead. It's this episode is running extra hours, so we'll just stop this one here, and I'll hopefully be at the checkpoint for progress. Um. Bye bye. Yeah. Bye.